Dealing with the shutdown in their own way are the retirees at GM Lordstown, the men and women who built the plant. They too have been struggling the past few months as they watched the shutdown unfold. First News anchor Stamboni talked with two of them this week and now he's live from outside the Sweeney dealership in Boardman. Well, I'm standing tonight here at uh, Sweeney Chevrolet in Boardman because I am here tonight because the last crews that came off of the Lordstown assembly line on Wednesday afternoon at 2.30 arrived this afternoon here at Sweeney's and it's right behind me. This is the last cruise that we've been watching all week as it's built and has moved through the assembly line. Well, Sweeney Chevrolet now has it in their showroom. They close at 6 o'clock, but they'll be open tomorrow from 9 to 4 and you're welcome to come out and take a look at it. We're also going to talk about the retirees at General Motors Lordstown tonight. Uh, it takes 30 years to get a full pension at uh, GM Lordstown. You have to work there 30 years, and there are an estimated 10,000 retirees out there that are actually collecting pensions. Let me show you the videotape of the first car that rolled off the assembly line in 1966. There's a lot of workers out there that still remember that day. One of them is Darwin Cooper. He spent 40 years involved with GM Lordstown, most of them working in chassis. But he was also the vice president of the union when Jim Graham was president. I asked Darwin Cooper his reaction to the plant shutting down, and then Jim Graham explains why he thinks the plant will open again. Families being broken up, people transferring, and you have kids in school here, you don't want to pull them out of school, and yet you're going to Fort Wayne, Indiana, or, or Flint, Michigan, and you got, you got to make those decisions that are terribly hard to make. And, 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 just heartbreaking. You're talking about a plant that has its own paint producing plant that produces paint for, for a car, fabricating plant, turnpike exit. Name me one other plant in this country that could, that could brag and, and say all those things about one facility. You can't. Graham says one of the most successful things he was involved in was the effort in the late 1990s between the union, the management, and the community to save the Lordstown plant, which resulted in the cobalt being built here. Now, there is a GM Lordstown retirees group that meets once a month. In fact, they just met last Friday at the Mahoning Country Club in Gerard. About 400 people showed up at that event. It's a way for retirees to keep in touch and also to keep in touch of what's going on at the Lordstown plant. As far as this last car, I've been around it a couple of times. There's some interesting things we're going to show you. We also talked to the wife of a former worker who came in to see it herself. I'll have that for you coming up tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live in Boardman, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.